All right, so today is September 20th of 2023. Haven't been getting a whole lot of different things done. But I'm starting in here. I thought I'd run a few outlets uh, since I got the AC panel and the DC panel wired up here. I might as well run another circuit or two. So I got power in here. So I'm getting ready to put some outlets in back here. I won't permanently mount them until I figure out exactly how I'm going to configure all this. But just get a couple of them temporarily mounted and, and uh, so I got more power available. I've also been put, putting some more of this uh, copper naphthenate down in here. Trying to get the whole the inside of the planking all coated. And uh, I cut a little hatch in up here um, to give me access to this area of the bilge here. And I got that all coated with copper naphthenate. And uh, this is all going to get carpeted. So, like I've done with the hatches here, which seems to be working all right. See, there's there's a seam right there, and um, I think that's going to work all right. So, I'm just going to put carpeting down so these hatches don't need to don't need to look overly wonderful. But anyway, so I got that done. I need to cut another hatch in in this section here, and this is probably where the bow thruster is going to go under here. So I may wait with cutting that hatch until I get the bow thruster and see exactly what I need. <clears throat> and then we'll need another another hatch or two, I guess, in here. Um, this will be a lot of storage here, so I'll put a couple hatches in here so we can get things stored in there because there's a lot, of, a lot of space in there. As is this one here, too. There's a lot of space under this one here. This is a huge one. And I don't know what I'll do over here. I suppose I'll have to cut a, a hatch in here. Hmm. Yeah, if I'd have done that a little differently, I maybe could have just just pulled that the screws out of that one and pulled that one up. But yeah, we'll see what I do there. But yeah. Um, anyway, so that's about all that's been going on up here. Ooh, there's a battery charged. So, I need to pick up some conduit to run some little conduit stubs um, out of these outlet boxes and down behind the counter. I'm not running conduit everywhere. Uh, I, I just, that doesn't make much sense to me. Um, I, some people that, and I know it makes running a new wire easier if you can slide it into a conduit, but um, you wind up putting the wire inside a conduit, which just creates more heat in the wire. If you wind up running multiple wires in there, then you got multiple problems and you got less current carrying capacity because you got a bunch of conductors bundled inside of a conduit. Um, and then once the wires get down into the the bilge spaces. Uh, well, then they say you're supposed to drill holes in the bottom of your conduit too to drain them, which kind of defeats the purpose of having them in conduit in the first place. But anyway, once the wires get down underneath, you know, underneath things out of the living space, I don't see issues with it. I mean, that's the way houses are done too, and I don't know. It just seems more practical to me, and, and you get so much conduit. And it would be such a large diameter because all those wires are running through it and, and you got a tap off of it so you'd need fittings everywhere and yeah, I don't know. I just don't think I'm gonna go that route. But anyway, that's what's going on in here. And again, let's see if I can do this without taking a nosedive off the boat. Which I really preferred to the stairs here but as you'll see in a moment I've been working out here on the side of the boat and uh, I said I wasn't gonna do this and I did it anyway um, I've been filling all the screw holes sanding them down and then planing any high spots down with the power plane uh, to get a you know at least a relatively smooth surface 
And I said I wasn't going to do that because it was sounded like way too much work to do at one time. And it is a lot of work, but I've got a little time before it cools off to the point where I can start putting the, the plywood on. So I thought, well, might as well make use of that time. So I've been sanding and, and patching and filling and planing. And it looks pretty good. Um, better than I thought it was going to look, actually. But that's where I've been spending most of the last week on. Next job is to, and you can see I started filling here. Um, but the next job is to continue on filling the bottom here. And then doing the same thing there, sanding and, and planing and whatnot. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, it went all right. Um, it's not a real fun job. I'm going to give you a little tip here. When you go to build your wooden boat, just plan on spending a small king's fortune or ransom on uh, sandpaper and then buy more. <laughs> There's nothing worse than trying to sand <clears throat> with sandpaper that's not nice and sharp. Um, so spend the money on, buy lots of sandpaper and switch out your sanding pads frequently. I know I try to get, you know, try to get your money's worth out of them. And yeah, in fact, uh, you know, here's the, here's the deal. A lot of times I save these and you know, like this one is way too, too used up. I try to save them and I think, ah, maybe I'll need them in the future. I'll reuse them. And so I save them and throw them up here. And then I want a month later, I throw them away. So yeah, don't do that. But anyway, uh, that's really all I've been working on here this last week. So we're just going to keep on. And quite frankly, the, the rest of this, this work out here anyway, um, when I start putting plywood on too, is going to be a pretty boring job. Um, not going to be a whole lot of interesting stuff to, to report. Yeah, I put another sheet of plywood on today. So we'll see how that goes, and I'll update, you know, as we go. But um, for the for the most part, it's going to be the same old, same old day after day for the for most of this winter, probably. So I may not do updates as frequently, just depending on how it goes. But uh, And if I'm doing other things, I'll, I'll update on the other things that I'm doing, too. But And I'm sure I will be doing some other stuff too because it gets gets too boring if you just do the same thing day in and day out so i'll probably break it up and, and work on a few other things this winter too but for the most part it's going to be putting plywood up uh, and, and uh, i haven't quite figured out how i'm going to do it yet i don't know if i can make some sort of a little crane rig that attaches up to the deck beams up there clamp onto the deck beams and i can hoist panels up alongside Gonna have to give that a little bit more thought, but uh, I'm guessing that's maybe kind of what's gonna happen. And I don't know if I'm gonna have to pattern the pattern the pieces on here. I'm thinking maybe like you know a sheet can be laid up to the because the bottom comes up like this, then the raised. Oops, you can't see my hand there. Bottom comes up, at, you know, a little bit of an upward angle, and then the raised shear is straight. Um, so there's a line there and I filled that line. And the reason I filled that, not so much to, that it needed filling, but just to save epoxy later on, since I was putting epoxy up here anyway, for fill, filling all the, the other holes. I filled that thing. Um, so when I go to put the sheets of plywood on, I want to have as, as deep a hole to, to fill with thickened epoxy. That's really the only reason I did that. Um, and I had talked about maybe trying to fit, fill in everything, but you know what, it wouldn't really matter. Um, they're gonna get more or less filled anyway when I put the thickened epoxy on, on the sheets of plywood. So yeah, one way or another, they're gonna get some epoxy in, into them. But uh, yeah, I don't know um, how I'm gonna get all these sheets up here. And, like I said, I think if I can maybe lay a sheet up there and lay it right up to that edge and do my first row of, of, of sheets of plywood just up to that edge. And then that would give me a lip to set the, the raised sheer piece of plywood up there. And maybe I could just set it up there then and scribe it at the raised sheer and then take it down and cut it. And then maybe the bottom ones here, then I could just kind of lay them up in here and put a screw or two in to hold them temporarily. And again, mark them along the bottom. 
Yeah, that might work. I don't know if I'm going to have help with this or not. Um, John had said he'd help, but he's not just too spry on his feet anymore. So we'll have to see how that goes. But And the ones under here are going to be, yeah, yeah, it's going to be fun too, holding them up in there. Yeah. All right, anyway, that'll be my update for today.